So I've been riding the Gateway Monster for the last four months and had racked up about a thousand miles, which is actually not a lot for a monster. I have pushed it both on speed and range, as well as dealt with the whole issue of having a loose axle. Had a few minor fall, thankfully nothing major just yet, knock on wood. Now that the shine of getting a new wheel had worn off a little bit, I figure it's time for us to talk about what I really think of the Gotway Monster. Finally this week, my review of the Gotway Monster, the biggest, largest, and most extreme electric unicycle on the market. Why it isn't the wheel you think it is, and why it may also be a peek into the future of the electric unicycle industry, and of course, the answer to the question, should you buy this wheel? As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified of new episodes and check out a preview for the next episode at the end of this video. Hint, it's the thing you have been asking for for some time. Alright, 30 second intro. This is the Gateway Monster. It's currently the largest electric unicycle you can purchase on the market. It comes with a 2000 watt motor powering a 22 inch diameter wheel. And mine is the 100 volt version, which is the faster variant with a top speed of around 40 miles per hour, plus depending on weight and condition. And I also have the 2460 watt hour extended range battery, which has a theoretical range of up to about 100 miles. This is also the most expensive electric unicycle you can purchase at roughly around $3,000 depending on your battery voltage configuration. It is a jaw-dropping amount of money for this little thing and yes, you can likely find a very nice electric bicycle or scooter for that much money. is to say that this really isn't a wheel that you should just walk into a store and buy. You have to be some sort of hardcore electric unicycle enthusiast to even be contemplating on getting this wheel. And right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that I do not recommend this wheel to anyone who's just getting into the sport. It's greater weight and lesser maneuverability, means that it's going to be a lot harder for you to find your balance point as compared to riding another wheel that is more maneuverable like 16x or even the Nikola. For example, low speed balancing, which is one of the things most beginners struggle with and is best accomplished by pointing the wheel in the direction you are following, which involves twisting the wheel rapidly, which isn't hard to do on the IPS i5. You can do the same thing on most other electric unicycle, but attempting the sand on the monster would be like trying to do a donut with a dumb truck. Fine, I don't care about maneuverability, but give me all our power. That's why I'm looking at the biggest and baddest electric unicycle on the market. Not exactly. You see, I think the Gateway Monster has a little bit of an image problem. In the motoring world, the one consistency we have is that larger usually equals more power. Bigger car, larger engines, more cylinders usually equates to more horsepower and torque. And for the most part, auto manufacturers produce and market their product accordingly. If you want a giant V12, you're not going to find it in a subcompact. It's best to look to the biggest saloon or the largest truck, if you're American that is. And that is what you would expect of the Gateway Monster, except no, it carries the same motor as the 19-inch NF6 or the 60-inch Nikola. As a matter of fact, because of the larger wheel diameter, the motor is going to put down a lot less torque. As a result, when it comes to things like hill climb or outright acceleration, the Nikola is going to feel a lot more powerful as a ride compared to the Monster. And yes, before any Monster fanboy get in a twist, with practice and skill, you can still extract great acceleration out of the Monster, and the differences are small enough that in day-to-day -day rides, you likely won't see that much of a differences. But as our drag race from last week demonstrated, starting from a standstill, the Monster is going to have a tough time trying to compete with either the MSX or the Nikola. 
The other problem with the Munster is its weight and size. Now, one of the main advantages of riding an electric unicycle is convenience. They usually are rather compact and come with a trolley. Some better than others, but it allows you to push one around as easily as a regular rolling luggage. Unfortunately, the Gotway Monster is one of the few electric unicycles that does not have a trolley handle that extends, and it could really use it. Unless you're five foot nothing, it's a little bit of a pain the rear end to be pushing this thing around while hunch over like this. And yes, you can put the seat on it, which makes it a little bit higher and easier to push. But then what are you going to do with the stairs? You can't get to the handle. So it's a bit of a pain. And boy, you'll need some good upper body strength if you need to carry it upstairs since my monster weigh in at 63 pounds. I do this subway trip once a week and absolutely dread the stair carries each time and I cannot imagine what it would be like if you don't have an elevator at home and have to carry this thing up two or three flights of stairs. By the way, I confirmed that the newer 3100 watt hour monster is 70 pounds. Yikes. In some ways, this is an electric unicycle so oversized that it compromises some of the inherent strength of the platform such as convenience, maneuverability, and overall zippiness. Alright, are they gone? Well, now that we have completely driven out all the curious casuals away, it's time for us true EUC enthusiasts to talk about what really matters. I mean, just look at this thing. 23 inch of reasoning be damn balls to the wall Gotway engineering prowess. This is a wheel so extreme that no other manufacturer, not even the mighty Naiba, had attempted to make anything similar. This is the kind of things that are typically built by larger company as some sort of prototype or even experimental vehicle, except in the case of Gotway, who is well known for their willingness to let the enthusiast push the very boundary of good sense, they figure, hey, why not? Since they're willing to pay top dollar for this wheel, why not just make it and sell it to them? And this 23 inch tire is just a beautiful thing. Because of the larger volume of air, it is softer than a typical electric unicycle tire. And as a result, it grips the ground better. Combined with the largest contact patch of any wheel, make this one of the best off-road trail riding EUC around. And in an urban environment where bad road surfaces is the norm, the monster is like having an extra insurance policy against falls. And I would go as far as saying that this, I think, is the safest wheel you can buy because of this tire. Cruising on the Monster at speed above 20 miles per hour is an absolute revelation. It is incredibly stable and smooth, predictable in the corner, and with a seat, the most comfortable long-range ride solution you can get of any electric unicycle. And yes, everything you heard about the Monster is true. This wheel is both the reason why it's great as well as the cause of most of its issues. The lower end torque had to be sacrificed to optimize power output above 20 miles per hour but once you get up into its power band the acceleration is strong and relentless and of all the wheels I have ever ridden the monster was most confident inspiring and the only EUC I felt truly comfortable riding mixed in with urban car traffic distance from the larger contact patch and heavier weight means that it is difficult to ride and maneuver properly and even harder to master, more so than any other wheel on the market. But for the same reason, it is also incredibly rewarding to learn, since its true capabilities seems to ratchet up as you gain more experience with it. But beside the motor, this wheel also stresses every other component and the axle is prime example of its problem. 
it'll loosen and there's no ways around it. So it's best that you figure out how to fix this yourself right away and make yourself the notch 24 millimeter socket you'll need to address the issue. And yes, I tried red Loctite and no, it does not hold permanently. On top of that, I also had the high speed oscillation issue and I'm still trying to identify what is causing it. So here is what I think about the Gotway Monster. And I'm sure the die-hard Monster fans is going to argue and disagree with some of the points. But just hear me out, alright? So the Gotway Monster has a much smaller sweet spot when compared to other more versatile wheels such as the Gotway MSX or the Kingsong 18XL. And that include factors such as convenience, maneuverability, ease of riding, and so on. However, where it is sweet, it is incomparable to any other wheel and just absolutely spectacular. After all, the experience of the wheel lies at the very core of the enjoyment of riding an electric unicycle. And this is simply just the best wheel currently available. I could not help but wish that it had more power. It's better balanced with a more robust build. Perhaps steel tubular framing like a motorcycle. But let's be very clear that my wish list is for an electric unicycle that is on a whole different level we can barely imagine at this point. As much as the Gateway Monster is all about peak performances, it also opens my eyes as to what is possible in the future for the electric unicycle platform once the motor and battery technology has progressed even further down the road. Once again, I wasted another 10 minutes of your life, but I hope you at least enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think and let me know if you own Gotway Monster and what you thought of it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy my video, please like and subscribe and help me out and forward it to your friends and I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next week, thank you. In the next episode, I will answer the question, where is my Z10? Ah, but you ready for a tale of love and betrayal? Stay tuned!